So autism and overloads, why they happen, how can you help with them? Here are three top hacks I've used and I still use coming up. Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie world. My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia. If you're new around here and you want to learn more about those topics, make sure to hit that subscribe button by clicking the notification bell. And if you're watching on Facebook and Instagram, make sure to follow this page to see daily videos from me because that's how cool this content is. <laughs> guys, what's going on? If we're meeting for the first time, what is up? Good to have you here. Really appreciate it. Oh, and as a freebie, I actually give away a free PDF for autism life hacks. You can download that from autismhacks.net completely free right now. Link is in the description below or you can just go to autismhacks.net. Guys, what is going on? Autism overloads. Oh my gosh. Okay, so autism overloads happen anytime, anywhere when there is something that is completely um, overloading the sensory input or the personal input, the, the, the surroundings of the person on the autism spectrum. This could be an, a, an over overwhelming amount of noise. It could be an overwhelming amount of work. It could be heat that's just too much. There are so many things that could cause an overload. And the problem with these overloads for autistic people is if an autistic person has an overload, this can lead to a, lead to a meltdown. And if you have a meltdown, then that could last for like seven to 10 days before you get recovery. On, I mean, it's just a whole thing, right? So I've listed out three of the best um, ways in which I use to uh, to hack my way through life to make sure that I'm not uh, susceptible to overloads as much as possible. Hey, look, we're never going to eradicate those things, but we can definitely reduce them and hopefully save some meltdowns in the process. Okay, guys, let's get on with it. Okay, so number one is Brilliant. Now, Brilliant is a homeopathic medication, and FYI, thank you for sponsoring this video, Brilliant, and it is super awesome. This helps reduce anxiety and stress, helps with restlessness, irritability, and impulsivity. I actually use this to help calm me down to help me feel less anxious during a day-to-day -day kind of protocol. I actually take three to four of these a day, but you have to take these little pills for at least three to four weeks before you'll see an effect, but then obviously continuing with it, you'll have an effect every single day after taking it. This is homeopathic, so it's completely uh, prescription free. You can get this over the counter. You can buy it in the link in the description down below. Also, there's a kid's version as well, which is kind of cool, but it's completely cool. There's no nasties in it. There's no harmful side effects. You know, It's not non-habit forming, so you're not going to get addicted. It's really Really cool. If you want to try it out, I definitely recommend it, but also check out with your doctor because like if you're going to try out any medication or anything like that, then definitely check out with your doctor first. But Brilliant is great because it's one of those things. If you can help lower anxiety and lower all of the things that may cause like major worries, then you're already halfway to getting rid of anything that's going to overload you, right? So it's a no brainer. So yeah, Brilliant. Check it out. Okay. So number two is regular sensory breaks. Now taking sensory breaks is a fantastic way to stop overloads forming. Um, this happens in a capacity where maybe your mental capacity is overloaded because you're working at your desk for eight hours a day and you're just like coming home, then making food, then you're looking after the kids, you have to take the dog out for a walk, then you have a shower, then you go to bed and you know you start the whole process over again and your sensory input never takes a break. So it's important that you take short but regular uh, times to take a break away from the things that you're doing. So you know I may be working at my desk for an hour and then I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna go away from my desk, I'm gonna go for a walk or like today after I finish filming these videos, I'm going to go for a run and then I'm going to have lunch. And so those kind of things really help with uh, the the taking the, the, the stress and the strain away from having too much sensory input just to give you a little bit of breathing space. It's kind of like taking big gulps of air between swimming through oceans. That's how I like to see it. Okay, so number three is planning sheet. There's a bit of a weird name for this one, but basically a planning sheet will help you with the tasks that you may not remember to do, which would cause you to have an overload due to the stress of not actually doing the task, if that makes sense. So basically the idea here is to first off, in the morning, write down all the things that you want to complete within that day or even that week. But be sure to make three of those an absolute must for that day. And they could be simple. They could be having a shower, putting on clothes that you feel comfortable in and having breakfast. As long as those three are completed, your mind will have a state of uh, euphoria from going, ah, I've completed at least three tasks, I can smash the rest of them. But if you don't write down everything that you need to do, this will become chaotic in your mind and cause you to have somewhat of an overload. And also, if you don't complete any tasks and set a goal of three tasks, then you will have an even harder time and could cause a meltdown. So be sure to make sure that you have three tasks that you can and will complete within that day guaranteed to give you a sense of completion and give your brain that ability to relax and not get too overloaded. Guys, if you have anything to add, pop it in a comment, share this video if you think this is adding value to somebody's life. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. 
thumbs up for this video. Peace.